money, 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 money. Ooh, nice. Ace of Cups, just like your sister. Interesting. Huh. All right. Oh, the temperance card. This is you. This is what covers you. Temperance. You better slow it down, sister. Slow it down. So this is the card of too much of something. Too much of something. So whatever it is you're doing that's too much of something, this is what covers you, is a very spiritual card. The Hierophant. The Hierophant is the Pope S. It's like the female Pope kind of. So this is a very spiritual card, and that goes right over here. Hmm. So this is a very extreme juxtaposition, these two cards. Temperance is saying that you might be doing something that's bad for yourself right now, and to slow it down. And um, Hierophant is saying that um, is that you are super developed in your spiritual and psychic powers and um, to tap into that. Also, these are solo cards. So that also means that um, you have a lot of lessons that you can teach yourself at this time in terms of getting rid of any bad habits at this time, in terms of uh, creating new good habits, which will stick. Because it's all about the G's, yo. All right, we have two of these. Right now, money, 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 money. And again, these cards are not about working hard for money. This is about enjoying it, enjoying the moment, enjoying yourself, enjoying your friends and family around you. Right? So this is about investment, that the seeds that you sow right now are going to pay off big time in the future. So the cups are a new birth, sexuality, good health. There's some dude here, <laughs> a picture that is not necessarily long-term thing but is a lot of fun and <laughs> will happen before the end of the year but it's, it's interesting this is a really strange card it can be read many different ways um i don't know i see that this person is already in your life the lover's card so whoever this person is um it's someone with male energy i no longer say male female and gender terms i used to see it as energy so, uh, yeah, so that's foremost in your mind, this coupling. Um, and I see that relationships are really integral to your success. So a lot of networking is important right now, a lot of socializing. And I don't say it's bad for everybody. Sometimes I, I'm just, I tell people to just stay, <laughs> get your nose in the books and work hard. But this is more like getting out more. Um, so your health is is good your health will always be good the ace of cups it's always a new beginning for you with your health and you'll always bounce back what's your question um i was just wondering like like will all the changes i'm going through like will i be happy with the changes oh well yeah this is your ultimate card the card of um having the entire enchilada which is a good um relate great relationship uh the uphill climb to uh building a future together and wands are magic so the answer is yes it'll all work out the world is your oyster so that mm -hmm. you understand. and you have the universe right in front of you so if that's your question everything will work out great it's just a matter of um Temperance. <laughs> Slow it down. What are you doing? That's uh, in excess. Was that helpful? It was. Thank you. I really appreciate it.
Awesome. Great to meet you. Next. Great to meet you. Yeah. Who do we have? I think it's me. All right. Who's Jody. me? Oh, Jody? Jody. Yes. We find you, Jody. Oh, there you are. Hi, Jody. Okay. Jody is next from the University of Lynchburg. Woo! All right. Um, oh, and then Jackie's next from Lynchburg, too. Okay, great. All right. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Have you had your cards read? I have never had it read. Nice. I love it. This is a big tarot card reading seminar. Yeah. You can really learn a lot from watching me read other people's cards. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cards. Jody, and then you just tell me uh, where when to stop. Okay, stop. Okay. Yeah, my uh, my Wi-Fi died, and my friend said, "Why don't you come over and use my Wi-Fi?" So she sanitized her apartment. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll be, it'll all work out fine. So, okay, so Jody, here we go. I'm just gonna cut the cards a few times, just tell me when to stop. Okay, stop. Right there, okay. Oh, and think of a question if you have one, okay? Okay. okay. This everybody's so connected. I have the same two cards as Sarah did. And look at Sarah's card again. I wonder if you know Sarah. You don't know Sarah, do you? I don't. Yeah, you got a lot of identical cards as, as everybody else here. It's so funny. There's just, there's 78 cards here, and I love it when people get the same cards over and over again. Okay, Joey. This is you. This is what covers you. This is a three of wands, meaning that you have big plans for the future. Big plans, and you want to see them happen, and you believe in yourself 100%. Yes, 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 which I love. This is a very enthusiastic card towards the future. I love it because other people might see this as, you know, fear of the unknown, but really your energy is about taking these opportunities and creating a new world, which is fantastic. And this is what covers you, the two of coins, which is a very sprightly card. It's very agile, right? Which means that you can, uh, you have a very light relationship with money. So you can take it or leave it or use it or not use it. But you are really all about creating something, creating a world that you want to see, right? This is the Six of Cups. See, she's sitting under a tree and she's not trying to make a, a cup float. Is that right? I mean, you really have some big ideas. And, uh, and this theme repeats itself over and over and over again. This is the, what is that? The Six of Cups, right? Big, big ideas, which will all come true. This means that you're the kind of person that um, would do well having your own, your own business. You hate being told what to do. Um, and you really believe in the concept of family. And this is a great card that I think four people today have gotten over and over again. 
So not surprising in this day, yeah. Yeah, in this, at this time, at, in this time frame especially, you know, people have that most in their minds. Um, so yeah, um, and this is more of a, of an, of an idealistic aspirational um, relationship. So you have very high demanding standards, which we could talk about. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, again, the temperance card comes up, right? The temperance card is a little bit of, you know, a little bit less of that. A little pulling back with the demands uh, in certain areas, right? Um, and so, actually, so everybody's always asking me about health. Whenever you see cups right here, this year, your health will continue to be good. And cups are all the way over here at the end of um, at the end of it. The eight of cups again, good health. Um, yeah. So, what's your question? Um, I'd like to know if I'd ever find like true love, like someone that's really going to be there for me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well. So it's it's present. It's right here. So this is your now. And this is your next year, right? Beginning next year onward. So in terms of love, yeah, there's this, there's this idealistic um, love here right now um, that the universe is right out there in front of you. Um, this is a tough one. Let's take out a few more cards, shall we? Okay. What's your question again? Do you want to know? Just want to know if I will ever find a uh, love, like for my myself and my children. Ah, yes, great. Like a partner. Mm -hmm. Great. So the Queen of Swords is a great card. It means that whoever you find to couple up with will love you just as you are, right? With all the strength and everything rolled into it, right? With all the sharpness and all the strength and that great security will be found in that coupling because you have the strength and the, and the temperance to, to kind of, um, I think temperance is like, you know, to, to really compromise with people and to, to get what you want by understanding and compromising with what the other person needs. So the answer is yes. Um, I don't change the way you are or anything like that. Just to it's just being a little more open to other people's uh, desires. Right. Is that helpful? That is. That was uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> well, wish you luck. Thank you. Okay, who's next? I'm next. I'm Jackie. Oh. Jackie. I have curly hair. Jackie. Fine. Background white. Jackie, curly hair. Background's white. Jackie, curly like hair. Jane shirt. <laughs> hmm. Sandra Jen. Oh, hi, Jackie. Okay. Hi. Okay. So I'm looking kind of to know more about like everything in general, but like more specifically like love life. Okay, great. That helps a lot. Yeah. When people think of a specific question, I don't have to bounce around so much. So that's great. Okay, Jackie. Have you had your cards right before? I have not. Exciting. All right, just tell me when to stop. Stop. Oops. Cars are popping up here. So where are you from, Jackie? New York. Oh, where? Long Island. Long Island? Mm -hmm. Where do you go to school? Uh, I go to University of Lynchburg. Oh, it's, oh, okay. 
with your other classmates here. Okay, so just tell me where I need to stop. Stop. Okay, let's go for love. Is that not good? <laughs> no, that's, that that bodes very well. Let's see what the rest does here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. Since you're so specific. All right. So the two of uh, cups. So when you're this specific and you want to know exactly what's going on here. Uh, so you're not dating anyone right now, are you? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a, it's a little bit unfair, this, kind of, this time of pandemic, because, you know, what's everybody going to say? <laughs> like, it's, uh, okay, but let me just say, what the cards are literally telling me, literally, is that right now, you are in a great position to find your next uh, serious relationship um, very soon. So that's what literally this card is saying. Okay. <clears throat> because there's an old saying that um, boldness has genius and magic in it. So when you ask for it, yeah. So, well done. Because uh, it, it, anything could happen, you know, anything could have popped up. Uh, and of course, because we are in pandemic times, mm -hmm. uh, there, there are some barriers. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is the Eight of Swords. So, you know, I'm going to just be obvious, Mr. Obvious here, Ms. Obvious here, and just say, you know, it's going to take a little bit for, <laughs> for you to connect with this person, but be, be patient because they're, they're already in your circle and you already know who they, you already know them. Okay. Cool. Uh, the challenge is that is your restless soul, which is the chariot, right? Okay. Chariot, you see there's no body, there's no scene. She just wants to get out of here. <laughs> so, very restless person. Um, so, I don't know, looks like you'll be moving a lot and you're a moving target. So it makes it kind of tough to get to get to this um this relationship here. It's totally possible though, and it's in your world. But be aware that your own ambition um, might make it like a fun though. Fun <laughs> stuff. And it looks like um, one way to get closer to the love that you want is to change up who you're hanging out with. This is the nine of wands. Okay. But, yeah, like there might be people around you that are kind of energy vampires, kind of sucking up your energy when no need, you know? But, You've got places to go and things to do. You have you're, you have a lot of um, a lot of adventures ahead of you because you are a star and a princess. And absolutely, what you want is going to happen. You're going to have family 
a secure relationship, um, permanence, but be very careful what you wish for. I wish you would. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> 